Hello, uh, this is Ian and Kenneth with Cerna Cultivation Technologies, and today we're going to give an overview of one of our four pipe chilled water systems through our Sentry IQ control system. This is a project where we did the mechanical engineering design of the system, we supplied the mechanical equipment, and we provided this control system that we're looking at the system through right now. Kenneth, do you want to give an overview of the system? Yes, Ian. As Ian said, this is a four-pipe system. So it's a chilled water, hot water, setup air handler with a chill, chilled water pre-cooler and uh, reheat hot water coil. So there's two air handlers per room that was decided on for redundancy. They're located above the room on a mechanical mezzanine. They're about 20 to 25,000 CFM per room. So that's split between two air handlers, depending on the size of the room. Feeding those air handlers, we have about 1,200 tons of chilling capacity. So we have seven, 780 tons of air-cooled outdoor chillers and 360 tons of heat recovery chiller. And then boilers provide, provided for staging and modulating for the hot water supply tent. Ian, would you like to show us the flower room? Yeah, definitely. So on the first of all, on the overall building view, we're looking at the temperature, humidity, CO2, light in. So there's 14 flower rooms total, um, clone room, mom room, bedroom, couple dry. And so you can see the temp and humidity on each of these rooms. The rooms that are circled in um, yellow are rooms that have the lights on. I want to zoom in on uh, one of the flower rooms just to give a little bit closer look at how it's operating. So right now this room is set to 75 degrees and you can see that we're hitting the temperature set point right on. I'm um, set to 42% relative humidity and we're getting you know just above that 42.4 i would mention that the air handlers we used we, we picked an air handler with a very deep chilled water coil to be able to hit uh this sort of low humidity and then i guess i'll point out that the temperature and the humidity that's being controlled to is really the average of these four um canopy sensors that are shown here down in the lower right we're looking at a plot of the temperature the humidity and the CO2 over the last seven days. And so the dark blue line is the temperature set point and the light blue line is the actual temperature. You can see that, you know, we're, we're really, really close to the temperature set point here. And then the dark green line is the relative humidity set point and the light green line is the relative humidity. And so also relative humidity you know, it's set at, if I click here, it'll show, it's set at 46%. And at where I clicked, it was 44.9, but you know, we're deviating a percent or two above or below set point here. I wanna go ahead and show a little bit more about the different points that could you could look at and how this can serve as a really uh, powerful tool for seeing what's going on with your system. So if I, Go into flower room six. This is a list of all the uh, trendable points in the system. You can see there's air handler supply fan speed, air handler supply fan set point, and there's chilled water, the valve, the command, and then the feedback. There's discharge air temperature, hot water valve, return air. There, there's a whole bunch of, of different points that can give you insight into what's going on in this room. I want to go ahead and trend on the chilled water valve. And I'm gonna have to adjust the axis value so that we can see it, because it is going up to 100%. So here in this uh, greenish blue line, we're looking at the chilled water valve position, how it changes over the last seven days. You can see that with the lights on, um, I can see it's lights on because the temp, temp set point is a little bit higher. The chilled water valve is sometimes going to 100%. And that is where we are seeing a slight deviation in uh, humidity go slightly more above set point as the chilled water valve hits its maximum capacity. And then during lights off, we're seeing the chilled water valve uh, go down between you know, 30 and 40%. But you can do this type of 
of analysis, you can look at, uh, say, the chilled water valve, the hot water valve, all kinds of things if you're having some sort of issue with your system to help try to optimize it. Now I want to go to a dry room quick just to show another type of room. So this is a dry room and it's set at 65 degrees and 50% humidity. You can see we're achieving uh, really close to that right now. And then right now this is set to the last day. I'm going to set it to the last seven days just to give a, a better sense of how the room is performing. And here it looks like the temp and humidity are going sort of all over the place, but point out that, so the room is set at 65 degrees and you can see that it's staying below 66 and pretty much above 64 it is staying above 64 so we're staying within a degree above or below of set point um for temperature and then for humidity we're set at 50 percent and you know although we are a little bit above set point you can see we're below 53 so we're staying within a, a couple percent of humidity here too in the dry room. I'm gonna go back to the central plant and Kenneth, do you wanna tell us a little bit more about what we're seeing through the control system in the central plant? Yeah, so this page is an informal diagram for the, the operator just to see the, the piping diagram of the system. So you can see an overview of what's going on. Uh, we typically design a modular approach with smaller pieces of equipment to increase redundancy and reduce the impact of a failure of one component. So you'll see the outdoor chillers on the right side, the indoor chillers in the middle, and the boilers on the left side of the screen. You can kind of see what pieces of equipment are being enabled and staged at certain times. And you'll see over time that that will change with the load in the building and the phase of the flower rooms. Then you can see how each piece of equipment is performing in terms of the temperatures that are coming out and ultimately the temperatures that are going out to the system. Um, and then if you go into the detailed page, Ian, this is a more detailed page that provides points of operation for each piece of equipment. So you can see a higher level of detail for each chiller, what the status is, you know, if, it, if there's alarms, current temperatures, uh, also the rotation, rotational sequences on, on there, alarm resets, as well as pump and pressure information from the system. Uh, Ian, you want to wrap this up? Yeah, for sure. So this is one type of system at Cerna that we've provided for pipe chilled water. And this is our Sentry IQ control system. I point out that there's a number of types of systems that you can use to control the temperature and humidity in a grow facility, of course. And we provide many of those options uh, here at Cerna. So if you're planning a facility or if you just have more questions, you wanna learn more about this type of system or another type of system or what type of system might be best for your facility, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to tell you more about our systems and our projects. Thanks again for, for watching and looking forward to hearing from you.